Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to discuss the answer to one of the most frequently asked questions in an IIM interview, which is why you would want to do MBA. Before giving you a framework to define your answer to this question, I would want you to understand the rationale behind asking this question by any interviewer. So the main reason they ask this question is to see whether you have clarity and commitment to pursue the two year degree. So whenever you answer this question, you should have a lot of clarity about your past as well as your future, which is what we are going to discuss in this model to answer this question. So in this model, this is where you currently are. There's a certain past behind you. Then will come a two year degree of MBA after which there'll be a future waiting for you. So the way you can define your answer is to state that there is something that happened in your past which made you realize that you would want to do something in your future for which you need the two year MBA degree, which is why you would want to pursue an MBA. Now, no matter what your background is, what your goals are, this model can fit into everything. Let me give you an example by sharing how I answered this question during my interviews. So the way I answered this question was that when I was in college, I was inclined towards the marketing field. I did a couple of internships and realized that I would want to land at a managerial position in the marketing function in the future, which is why I wanted to do a two year MBA program in order to equip myself with enough skills and expertise as to be able to deliver that. Now, in this example, the pursuing of marketing internships and realizing that that's my inclination lies in the past, the realization that I would want to do a managerial role in the marketing function lies in my future and the equipping of marketing skills and expertise lies in that two year MBA degree. So this is how it fits in this model. Let me give you a couple of examples of my batchmates that will fit in the same model. So this is how one of my batchmates who is an engineer answered this question. He said that I work in a technical space within an organization and even though I've been performing well, I've realized that in order to grow within the organization, you need to have information and knowledge about other functions like finance, marketing, etc. And that can also help you become a better leader going forward, which is why I would want to pursue an MBA degree in order to learn the skills that are required to achieve the same. Another friend who happens to be a CA answered this question in a very different light. She said that throughout her life, she has been exposed to a curriculum wherein there was a certain syllabus and she was supposed to clear those exams, but she did not get the opportunity to interact with other people and to learn from them, which is what she feels is an important skill set if she wants to grow within an organization. And hence, she wants to spend two years doing an MBA degree wherein she can interact with the batchmates and learn from them what is also called as peer learning. Another friend who is a serial entrepreneur said that when he was in college, he had a startup which he ran for about two years, but he wasn't able to sustain it because of lack of connections and wasn't able to raise funding for the same, had no knowledge in order to how to scale it up, which is why he wants to do this MBA program in order to equip himself with a platform, with connections, with a good alum base, with knowledge, so as to be able to do a startup after completing his MBA degree. Now to a lot of you, this may seem like that this is a very constructive answer, but that's not the truth. A lot of people pursue an MBA degree just in order to earn very great amount of money. That's true. But let us fit the same in this example as well. Let's say that when you were in college, you realized that Sharma Ji Ka Beta has got a 10 or 20 lakh worth of package. And that's when you realize that you would also want to get the same and brag about it in front of Mr. Sharma Ji, which is why you decided to pursue an MBA degree and get a platform through which you can get the same placement offer. The same can also be fit into this model. So even if you were to give an answer, which I would highly recommend you not to, you would still be using the same framework in order to give that answer. But the difference between the two kinds of answers are that on the left hand side, when people give constructive answers, they were talking about their own growth opportunities with the help of others and in the process also helping them with the same. Whereas in giving an answer like this, you are only and only thinking about yourself and not mentioning anything constructive. So mentioning points like peer learning, the vast experience of your batchmates, the extensive alum network and your own individual growth and development within those two years of an MBA journey are extremely important. And it's not only about the placements or the IIM tag. The last point that I would like to mention is about having a lot of clarity. 
no matter what you answer you are going to get asked follow up questions based as your answer because the interviewers would want to test whether or not you are clear about what you are saying for example when i answered what i did to this question i was asked a follow up question why not do a job immediately after your college and why go for an mba to which i replied that i tried applying to organizations of my interest like ogilvy but i was told that the skills required in order to perform the job can only be equipped by doing an mba which is why i would rather want to spend 2 years gaining relevant knowledge than having irrelevant experience and hence i would want to do an mba degree immediately after college rather than doing a job so it's very important to know what you are saying and having clarity about the same if you are saying that there is an incubation program at iim and i feel it gives me a great platform to be an entrepreneur you should know everything about that program and if you are saying that i would want to land at a consulting job which is my dream job you should know what a consulting job entails you should have talked to iim folks who can explain you what those jobs entail after that if you are saying that i would want to learn about peer learning or about the exposure at the iims you should know what kind of exposure they actually give so they are going to test whether or not you have clarity about what you are saying and whether you are sure you would want to go through that process so that's all i would want to cover in this video i would surely create a course on gdpr preparation which i'll put in the description whenever it's ready so do check it out and i would also cover what the 2 years at an mba actually entails so that you get a better idea of the exposure you can get from an iim and in the upcoming videos we'll also share what different functions actually expose you to so that you have better clarity about the future roles so that's all from my side if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comment box thank you so much for watching this